In this video, I'm going to show you how we can find derivatives using implicit differentiation. The van der Waals equation for n moles of gas is p plus n to the 2 a over v to the 2 times by v minus n b equals n r t. In this implicit relation, the p shows pressure, v shows volume, and t is temperature. R, A, and B are positive constants. So the only variables that we have in this implicit relation are pressure, volume, and temperature. Why we say this is an implicit relation? Because attention, the variables are mixed together. And so this is an implicit relation between P, V, and T. If T is constant, find dv over dp so we suppose that t is a constant so put t aside and find dv over dp because we want to find dv over dp this means that the v is the function and p is the variable so you can think v as y and p as x so this is like dy over dx when we have dy over dx y is the function x is the variable so here p the pressure is like x and v is like y you have to behave v like y and you have to consider p as x for finding dv over dp we use implicit differentiation and for finding dv over dp we have to take derivative of both sides of this relation with respect to variable which is p for finding dv over dp i prefer to multiply the brackets by each other first and then i start finding dv over dp but if you want you can find dv over dp directly from the given equation but i prefer to multiply the brackets by each other if you multiply p by v then we have p v minus p times nb would be nbp the reason i am writing this in this order is that attention these two are constant and p is only the only variable these are the variables then we have to multiply n to the 2a over v to the 2 by v and by the next term so we have plus n to the 2a over v and the next term that we have is minus n to the 3a b n to the 3a b over v to the 2 and the other side is nrt for finding dv over dp we can start by differentiating both sides of this relation with respect to p but let's bring these variables from denominator to numerator and then start differentiating so before we start differentiating we rewrite the given relation in this form pv minus nbp plus n to the 2a v to the negative 1 minus n to the 3a b v to the negative 2 equals n r t now we take derivative from both sides of this relation with respect to p derivative of for finding derivative of pv we use product rule the reason that we have to use product rule is that the p is the variable and v attention we want to find dv over dp so v is a function of p so v is also a function of p so we have two variables multiplied by each other and so we use product rule for finding derivative of pv 
derivative of p with respect to p is 1 attention we are taking derivative of both side of this relation with respect to p p is like the variable x for us so derivative of x is 1 so derivative of p is also 1 so we have 1 times v or just simply v plus write p and take derivative of v v is the function of p is the function of variable p so derivative of v is 1 but don't forget to multiply by v prime or dv over dp here v plays the role of y and p plays the role of variable x now we have want to find the derivative of negative nbp negative nb is a constant so we write the constant derivative of p is 1 so derivative of negative nbp is just negative nb now we have to find the derivative of n to the 2 8 v to the negative 1 its derivative is bring the power in front and subtract 1 from the power so its derivative is negative n to the 2 a v to the negative 2 v prime and for finding the derivative of this again we use power rule we bring the power in front and we subtract one from the power so its derivative is 2 n to the 3 a b v to the negative 3 v prime but what is the derivative of nrt attention t is a constant for finding dv over dp we suppose t to be constant because t is a constant also r is a constant and n is the number of moles of gas so all of these are constant what is the derivative of a constant zero so the derivative of the right side of this equation is zero now for finding v prime or dv over dp we keep this term and this term and this term in the left and we move these two terms to the right then we have p v prime minus n2 a v to the negative 2 v prime plus 2 n to the 3 a b v to the negative 3 v prime equals n b minus v if we factor v prime from the left terms then we have p minus n to the 2 a v to the negative 2 plus 2 n to the 3 a b v to the negative 3 equals n b minus v finally v prime which is actually d v over d p equals to this over that nb minus v over p minus n to the 2 a v to the negative 2 plus 2 n to the 3 a b v to the negative 3 this expression is dv over dp if you want to simplify this answer you can multiply numerator and denominator of this fraction by v to the 3 and the reason that you multiply numerator and denominator by v to the 3 is that we want to get rid of these negative powers of v that we have in denominator if you multiply the numerator 
and denominator by v to the 3 you can write your answer as v to the 3 times nb minus v over v to the 3 times p is pv to the 3 if you multiply v to the 3 by this term v to the 3 times v to the negative 2 is just v so we have minus n to the 2 a v and if you multiply v to the 3 by this term then we have plus 2 n to the 3 a b but this simplification is not necessary and you can leave your answer in this form if v is constant now find dp over dt now here we suppose v to be a constant and we want to find dp over dt for finding dp over dt first let me rewrite the equation this equation because finding derivative from this equation is easier so let's rewrite this equation here again attention v is a constant and t is the variable and p is the function so when you take derivative of any term involving p you have to multiply it by p prime but you have to behave the variable t which is temperature like x t is the variable and p is the dependent variable or is the function of t and v is constant let us start finding derivative of both sides of this relation with respect to t because t is the variable for finding derivative of PV, you don't need to use product rule anymore because V is a constant now. And the only variable that here we have is P. So V is a constant, like 4, 5 is a constant. And P is the only variable that we have in this term. So for finding derivative of PV, we write V v is a coefficient v is a number and we have to take derivative of p but p is the function attention p in this notation dp over dt in this notation p is in the top so p is the function and derivative of p is not only one is one times p prime p prime means dp over dt minus nb is a constant and derivative of p is again p prime what is derivative of this term v is a constant and we know that n and a are also constant so derivative of all of this term is zero derivative of v to the n to the 2a to the v to the negative one is zero what is derivative of n to the 3 a b v to the negative two again everything here is a constant n is a constant a constant b is constant and v is also constant so the derivative of this term is also zero so the derivative of all of these terms is zero but look at the right side n and r are constant but t is the variable so the derivative of n r t is n r times one derivative of t is 1 derivative of, because t is like x and derivative of x is 1 so derivative of t is 1 now we keep these two terms with p prime in the left we factor a p prime from these two terms so we have p prime times v minus n b equals n r so from this p prime or the dp over dt equals n r over v minus n b now we want to find dv over dt 
considering p as a constant so p is a constant and we want to find dv over dt first let me rewrite the van der waals equation the simplified form actually this new form of the van der waals equation first and then we can find dv over dt from that let us start for finding dv over dt attention t is the variable is the independent variable so we can consider it as x and v is your function v is a function of t so v is like y so when you take derivative of a term involving t you don't need to multiply it by anything just use their normal derivative rules but when you take derivative of a term involving v you have to multiply it by v prime for finding derivative of pv again we don't need to use product rule because p is a constant so we write the constant p and we have to take derivative of v but v is a function so its derivative is v prime or actually dv over dt minus right nb but p is also a constant so what is derivative of nbp derivative of all of this is zero because everything here in this term is a constant n is a constant b is a constant and p is also a constant so the derivative of nbp is zero then we have this term v is like y don't forget n to the 2a is a constant so we write the constant derivative of v to the negative one bring the power in front so then we have to make this positive negative and we have to subtract one from the power and don't forget to multiply by v prime the derivative of the next term is plus 2n we bring this power in front 2n to the 3 a b v to the negative 3 v prime and for the derivative of the right side attention t is like x so its derivative is 1 so the derivative of n r t is just n r if we factor v prime from the terms in the left we have v prime times p minus n to the 2 a v to the negative 2 plus 2n to the 3 a b v to the negative 3 equals n r and finally v prime or dv over dt is n r over p minus n to the 2 a v to the negative 2 plus 2n to the 3 a b v to the negative 3 so dv over dt equals this expression and if you want you can multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by v to the 3 to simplify it but you can leave it like this and this is dv over dt i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe in my channel and see you in the next videos